Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been on this LZ Alpha Rock for about, I'm going to call it 1,230 cycles. It's actually 29, but that's good enough. Last time we spent almost all of our, hey, this isn't where I was zooming in on, uh, almost all of our energies trying to fix a problem that we had here. I'd forgotten to put a little bit of automation in and it was all, it was all steam, doom and gloom from there. But we cracked open the hot box, we got inside, we fixed it, we filled it back up with water and now everything should be running fine here, giving us a little bit of power excess when this erupts. There have been some other things going on such as our steam turbine, uh, steam vent, sorry, has come back online. This was dormant for a very long time and was causing us quite some issues, but I have this overflow pipe coming out from down here and it, it's sending a fair amount of water down this pipe and helping cool down our steam box over here. This needs to be cool because we're trying to cool our petroleum with it but the problem is I, I don't know where all the steam's gone I, I literally I have no idea it's all just disappeared um, I, I don't know what has caused it I've got a feeling it's the fact that we're dropping liquids from this vent and down onto some petroleum maybe that is a problem I don't know what I'm going to do to try and resolve this is deconstruct this particular tile here and put down a metal tile in its place hopefully this will fix this we're dropping relatively chill water out onto it so that that should work you can also see that I've come through and put in a bit more automation it's getting a little bit out of hand now but we put a little bit more automation on the steam turbines up here just to make sure that there is indeed steam down underneath them as well as the correct temperature and pressure uh, let's go with an iron... Oh, actually, if I pop it up... Uh, turns out I'm not allowed to put it down here anyway. But if I pop it up there, uh, we should be able to enable our duplicates to run underneath. It does not It does not want to go there. Mm, I bet it's because of the diamond shift plate in the background. I didn't know what type it was. It turns out diamond. So let's uh, let's try and deconstruct this. Uh, I'm just going to ba -ba try and uh, usurp someone for whatever job they were doing. It's probably Mr. Lion going around and doing the automation. But we have a much more pressing problem than this. Oh dear, I didn't think this was going to be the problem, but it turns out we have got a problem of power up here. This is exactly, exactly what I'm trying to fix. <laughs> a minor crisis as Cubic finds himself on top, but he's not, he's not going down any of the, uh, of the ladders. I don't know why. What, what are you trying to do, Kit? He wants to run down here, but it's just not happening. We might have to just run him back and forth. Okay, we got him out. We got him out. We can, we can move him down here. Miss came along and did a lot of digging. Great. Well, as I was trying to say before that rude interruption, our big problem right now is the fact that the oxygen doth not flow through here. But I've got a solution to this, a solution that we were trying to implement down here. We were going to get some water geysers going and, like, pump some water up. But as you can see, 22 cycles, that was 50 25 cycles ago. Uh, so, you know, this, we've been waiting for this. So I think it's time that we started a race. Indeed, up here, you can see that I've got an anti-entropy thermal nullifier. And you're like, what? Well, I mean, that's all good, but that's not going to provide me any uh, any water, is it? But hey, if I uh, if I use some haxy nastiness, induce a panic, spread misinformation, you can find that there's a cool steam vent up here. Isn't that great? I'm just going to turn that off now because that's a little bit excessive. So I think what we're going to do is start digging out this entire area in between here and start trying to build um, a mass oxygen production system here. Oh, that's a little bit of a shame. Look, this bottom ledge here doesn't quite match up with that bottom ledge. I'm going to realign with the bottom of this. I think that's a better place to come in at. And we can always collect a pool of water underneath and pump it out, right? Yeah. One of the things that I like to do in between recordings is just, uh, or recording sections, I suppose we'll call it, is to follow whoever has got the, the job that I'm most interested in. So right now I'm trying to build that metal tile, and of course Mad Frank is the guy who's doing that. So I'm just going to watch him do it. It's, it's great fun. It's, it's what I think the game is mostly made for. Okay, let's try that metal tile there. Let's see if this will actually try and save us some liquid. Yeah, okay, all right. It, it's gone down. That's good. Uh, I also hear that there's some funkiness with... Um with gas tiles exchanging their temperature but actually ending up exchanging their masses, that that would also be pretty bad. Okay, I'm not sure if the metal tile is helping or not, but I've set up a universal sensor up here because we weren't getting enough steam building up before a little bit would come over here. It would hang around for just a few seconds. As you can see, it's doing right now. It's just hanging around there. And then it would pick up all of the steam that was going on. I don't like that. So I've uh, made a universal steam sensor for them all to be fed from. Uh, whilst we're doing that, let's come along here and up this universal ladder of glories. We're going to have to try and carry this one further up. Is it this side that we carry on now? Okay, and up here we 
have the uh, the area where I'm going to be setting up my new oxygen area, but there's not, not a great deal been going on up here, it turns out. Hmm, mild distraction whilst we're here. You can see that this natural gas geyser has gone dormant for the next 15 cycles, and I feel like we could do something just to up the efficiency a very small amount. Now, this one gas pump here will be putting out uh, blobs at 500 uh, 500 grams, kilograms, whichever one it is that's uh, half the half the full pipe. We can do better than half a full pipe, though. We can do a full pipe, and we're going to do it just through a little bit of um, of, of, of magic. I, th I think that's the only way we can describe it. This is magic. If I take the gas pipe up and over and connect these two and then these two, and this comes down to connect there. What we've done here is connect up two gas pipes. Now, this first one is going to chew, is going to grab it as uh, often as possible and pass it down, and that will fill this one up. Eventually, it will back up enough because we'll be turning this gas filter off eventually it'll be backing up enough that it will fill up this second ga um bridges I'm going to call it a reservoir, the first input here. So which means if we sense just this this little uh, line right here, this little pipe right here, we can know when the, the, packet, the, the packets further down the line are full because they would have had to have backed up to get here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to go with an element sensor uh, and we're going to pass the element sensor signal. Hello, dog out there. How are you doing? That uh, poor dog. He's a, he's, a, he's a massive dog, like a Great Dane or something like that. And he's just like in this inner townhouse. Poor guy must be bored. Oh, yeah, let's try and get that done. Uh, also, I mean, I suppose we've got a full vacuum in here. Uh, that That's not the best. I suppose we do have the, uh, the filter here for that. Uh, I want to try and also seal this off when we're done. Open this up and make it usable. We've not checked in with Wild Wise for a little bit. He seems to be doing all right. He's going along doing the manual oil refinery. What, what did he do? Ran out of power? No, he's power supply. Okay, he's fine. We're going to need to go and treat a patient. That is much more important. Obviously, with our oxygen problems right now, only half our duplicates have environmental suits, and those environmental suits are what protect them from the temperatures. Wild Wise is the man who goes around and makes sure everyone is doing all right afterwards. I mean, there's him and Dr. Captain Suds, but Dr. Captain Suds has uh, developed a skill set beyond just the doctorship uh, so he has gone around and become made himself more useful in other areas of the colony while he leaves the uh, the assistant doctor here to help out you know when you find a pipe that's just been hanging around since the beginning of the game and it's not really done anything for a long time but it looks like it might be important but it's really not yeah I found one of those I'm still not convinced that the steam isn't being deleted from here, so I'm going to go full nuclear and give ourselves a bit more liquid coming in this way. Do we have a full battery? We do. So hopefully now all we're doing is dumping various types of water in there. There is a little bit of ethanol in here to watch out for, but that's why we put the pump up high. Hopefully these won't come and interfere, but you know, a little bit of ethanol gas in there is... Uh, well, actually, it's a big problem, but we'll figure it out. Oh, look, dirt's getting spread all the way across the door. I wonder what this means for, like, whether the water then also gets spread out and because it reaches a small amount gets deleted. I don't know. I'm just theorizing right now. Wonder if any shovels have got through here. That's a big problem, actually. Let's get an insulated tile. Let's get our obsidian out and let's just connect up these little bits of abyssalite. Oh, look, there he is. Did you see him? There is one up there somewhere. Okay, that is now our priority. Uh, we've had to call Red Alert overnight because for some reason, every thought thought it was fine to leave space exposed to the base overnight. No, not, not about it, not about it. Let's get all this built and then we'll be fine. Well, it unfortunately took all night, but I think we can now turn Red Alert off. Decipher's filling up that last gap for us. Maybe these ones should really get filled in, but I think we're okay for now disconnected this water pump because I feel like we've got enough steam in here now. In fact, we've been bringing down the temperature maybe just a little bit too far, though down here doesn't feel like it is as cold as up there. Maybe these uh, these temperature shift plates aren't quite doing the job that I would like them to. But all in all, in all it seems like it's going quite well. We've got now a stockpile of steam. Not much is being st stored in there, but it has meant that these petroleum generators have got on, and I believe that means we're now cooling, steam, uh, cooling petroleum a little bit faster, waiting for the water to... Uh, to start flowing a little bit more uh, more consistently so that this oil well can pump a little bit more consistently. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to run out. Up at the top, we have opened up a lot more of the area here, and of course the uh, the effort to seal us in over this side is going strong. I've also asked for all of this to get built. This is a Rodriguez, um, popularized by John Francis, but of course he didn't make it. He met someone by the last name of Ross R Rodriguez made it, hence why he calls it that. This is in essence a self-powered oxygen maker. We're going to be powering it off of the cool steam vent over here. We're just going to 
have the same sort of setup as we have got below. Uh, just cut, pull the cool this down to maybe not even 70 degrees. Let's just pump it at the same temperature uh, 95 or whatever whatever we can get it out at uh, and put it through the electrolyzers whereupon this thermal anti-nullifier is uh, going to do most of the cooling for us. We've got an excess of hydrogen so we're going to pump that through there first and then I don't know, maybe we'll have ourselves a little bit of a generator room somewhere. Probably on top. Ooh. Can we submit an, a bio scan to this? Are people able to unreachable? Well, once again it's like nah nah we can't get to that side. I wonder why. I wonder why. Maybe this one? I mean, that's going to be unreachable as well. But can we get up and through this way? Oh, oh dear. Oh, miss. Uh, what, have we, what have we done? Can you uh, submit your bioscan over here? Is that a thing? Surely misaligned unreachable. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Misaligned unreachable. Why? What is it? The Agonius rock? Can we reach anything else? We can't reach anything else. Okay, let's make this super high priority. What local materials do we have that we can make out of? I'm sure there's like loads of granite lying around as well. So let's cancel those and get them out of granite. Okay, people have gone to do the digging too many times now. Let's, uh, let's pump the priority of a whole bunch of these things here because it's too much. It's too much. We need to get Miss out of there before she, uh, she has a bad one. Actually, all we need to do is that one, right? Okay, this lad has been put in place. Let's see if Miss takes the uh, the escape route. She does. I'm wondering who's now going to come along and submit the bio scan. I think this is the correct way to dig out a geyser. We'll, we'll find out in a bit. If it suddenly all becomes very hot and watery, we'll know there's a bit of a problem. Okay, this is where I find out whether I got it right or not. Uh, it is uh, building pressure. It is getting ready to go. You can hear it going. And we're fine. Okay, cool. Brilliant. That that was really quite scary. The build is coming on relatively slowly, but I've got to say, uh, I couldn't pass day one, two, four, eight without taking a moment to go, hey, powers are two. Isn't that cool? Ooh, we've come a few days into the future here, but the system is pretty much in place. The water will fall out of the geyser up here down onto this liquid pump. The liquid pump will pump it up and put it through the electrolyzers. The electrolyzers will then pump out hydrogen at the top and oxygen down below. It's, it doesn't pump it out there. It just pumps out from the uh, electrolyzer, but hydrogen goes up and oxygen goes down and these will pump out three solid lines of oxygen and one hydrogen now the hydrogen is going to go into the thermal anti-entropy nullifier preferentially that's what this bridge is for and then it will come up from here and into a bunch of generators the oxygen is going to go through and then we're going to take a sharp turn down and go back to the base but first i mean like look at this look at this mess of different gases that we have inside here so we need to deal with that and to deal indeed i've got a little piece of space exposed here and i'm just going to vent all my gases out to there a bit brutal really Doing my research online, I've heard that these can have a little bit of troubles if they if the oxygen backs up and uh, starts pushing its way up into the hydrogen line. Now, I don't think we're ever actually going to get to the point where we're not consuming the, the oxygen as it comes out. But I want to do a little bit of an automation just to make sure we uh, can not have that situation. In here, I'm going to have a gas pipe element sensor, and we're just going to check for, for oxygen. If there is oxygen in the line, we'll stop. It's, it's going to be as easy as that. We'll, go, we'll even turn off the electrolyte. No, no, we'll turn off the pumps. There's a smarter way of doing this, and I will figure it out, because at the moment, it's going to shut down every every other bubble, if you will. It's going to pass, and then, then this will turn off, and then there'll be a gap, and then it will turn back on. Uh, and there definitely will be some sort of oscillation, but I'm wondering whether we can do something with two, two gates, uh, two bridges, sorry, like we did down below. So the thought process is, under normal flow conditions, this will just jump straight over and carry on down, and this second one will never get noticed, right? And it's only when something falls into there that we have an overflow. Yeah, I, th I think that's the correct system. It's amazing how many of these systems are sort of interchangeable into different situations. It's uh, one of the beautiful things about this game. You, le you learn a neat little trick and you can apply it in uh, hundreds of places. Okay, I think it might be time. Let's go ahead and dig that one out. Well, obviously, we're going to be sending Forrest in and out. Well, um, apart from we're not going to be doing it right now because he doesn't have an atmosphere suit, which means I'm probably going to seal it up straight away. But the whole time that this has been going on, we've been collecting all the dirt that's been being made from the polluted, uh, polluted water down below. Low. And we've got nearly up to 100 gram, uh, 100 kilograms, so that, that's pretty cool. We're going to put a weasel up there, but that is nowhere near going to be enough. We're probably going to have to come up with some other cooling solution here. Obviously, we've got the good old go-to to uh, to reach for. Uh, I was thinking of cannibalizing all this stuff down here. I've already dug up one, but I didn't see any dirt come out of it. Maybe it just got shuffled up there without me noticing. Oh, look, there's another anti 
uh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Who's in trouble? Jelly. I mean, honestly, mate, you're supposed to be in a in a hospital bed. <laughs> Here comes Mist to unleash the beast. Let's see what comes out of this. Uh, well, at least we're not dormant. That That's a plus, right? There was a very high possibility that we were going to have a dormant um, steam vent there because that's what's happened every time we've set up something so far. Okay, apart from the burning of the hydrogen at the top, which we have, like, kind of just... Uh, throwing out to space by default. This should all run by automatic right now. The water will fall out, the pump will pick up, the uh, oxygen will be produced, and everything should be pumped away. The big problem that we've got now, uh, everything's a problem to me in these games, it turns out, is the fact that we need to uh, transport this oxygen down this massive long corridor and get it to the base. We've got to pass over things like this. I mean, how are we going to do that? I don't, I don't know, but I will figure it out. Of course, now that we've just spent all this time cooling the product down, do we really want to let it warm back up again? I don't know. I, th I think we uh, we should be using some insulated pipe. This is going to take a while. Oh, we have water. Water is being produced. Beautiful. Any any advancements on that, uh, that wheeze wart? No, okay. <laughs> How is he always down here splashing in the boiling hot water? I don't know, I don't know, but he chooses to. Okay, so this is backing up, that's good. How is a knot of a knot still a knot? Something's going wrong, ah, oh, it's a filter, that's why I see. Okay, and we've got some pressure rolling now. This should hopefully just expel all these, uh, these terrible, terrible mixture of gases out of here. We need to try and hit some sort of decent pressure limit. I think a thousand is looking pretty good as well. All right, we've got some, some scolding going on, but that's all right. It's just, it's just forest. It's always forest. I don't know why. Oh, we're not quite completely purged. There's just this little bit rocking around in there. Once we get rid of that, I'll, ca I'll class us as completely clean. To be fair, given what we've got here, I don't think we're going to have any problems with hydrogen. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this one. This bridge is the one that's throwing the hydrogen out to space and i just want to get rid of all of that now we don't want to get rid of stuff in space well no, not the hydrogen anyway look at this we've, we've got rid of too much oxygen though we've got to wait for it to uh, to empty out there that's that's really cool actually probably one of the more oxygenated areas <laughs> Ah, uh, dormant. I told, oh, I'm, I'm actually cursed. I don't. What? Why? All right. Well, let's let's let him in there to an analyze it. Oh my god! Like literally, why? Why? <laughs> In other news, this has started ticking over. I'm thinking we need a bigger box for it, so I'm going to make a bigger box after we're done with what we're doing up there. Is this is this actually running, though? Is that what's actually going? It says pipe block, but I definitely disagree. Ah, may, may, maybe, maybe it's correct. Now, now what happens? Now the base overheats, but uh, other than that, what happens? Okay, here it comes. It's coming through pretty hot, 80 degrees, but I'm hoping that, you know, basically this is coming through at 70 anyway. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we should be able to round it all out. Why isn't it going further? Okay, we're going to have to uh, snippy this one here. And yeah, beautiful. Okay, we're just, we're just running it off of that now. Hopefully this now means, yeah, 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 this is now all full. So we just want to kind of turn these on. I wonder when that one uh, got destroyed. We'll have to find out. Well, we'll have to figure out how to fix it. That's going to be the hard one. Iron? Oh no. Got a bit, bit of an iron problem at the moment. We've got a lot of it, but obviously it's all locked away behind these doors that people can't get into because they don't have the atmosphere suits. But we are pumping the oxygen in now, so maybe. Oh look, this is also... Hmm. I'm, I just, I'm not sure where it's getting in. Here. Wait, what's this? Well, that's unfortunate. People must have been coming through here. Let's uh, stop people doing that. <laughs> Given the retooling, we're definitely going to be sending this water down towards the oil fissures so we can keep a constant flow of liquid coming in here. Uh, the problem we've got right now is uh, over pressure. No one can get through, but obviously we've given everyone their suits again, so let's change this around uh, and stop wise going through. Oh, that's a toasty 47, 49. Ow, this one's coming through at 40s as well. It's going to get a little warm in here. Oh man, just looking at the numbers we've got access to already, let alone with the analysis. This is on for 
like less than half the time, maybe like a quarter, oh, 73 cycles out of every, uh, sorry, 74 cycles out of every 120, it's not too bad, 40 cycles, oh, it always comes along and kicks me in the teeth. Well, the hydrogen's flowing anyway. I'm not sure what I want to keep this down to, because obviously these are full up now. We're, we're at like 1,200, but is this going to just keep consuming? What is, my, what is my oxygen down here? Hmm, it's uh, 19. So let, let's go for 2,500. Let, let's do that. That way the oxygen shouldn't get up to high enough pressure to force its way over. Right? Look at that. Oh, no. I will not be held hostage to the another geyser that wants to be dormant. This has taken a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it's it's late at night. If they, if I sound a little uh, or anything, it's because it's uh, it's much later than I normally record. But if we follow this line all the way back and down here, hopefully we have some water coming up. This is coming from the uh, the geyser down below. This this guy here, the one we started with last episode had a look on earlier and ended up using for the electrolyzers here. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've, had, I've had enough of being held up by, uh, by geysers. This guy is going to end up uh, supplementing the feed from the other one so that we can have uh, all round the uh, around the clock water supply and hopefully maybe get this other weasel down. Oh, we are out of hydrogen. Where's all the hydrogen gone? Okay, the waterfront has approached the electrolyzers. Uh, there was a little bit of power being put in from forest over here. It got the hydrogen pump pulling out and we have a little bit of power coming into the system. I have disconnected it from the main grid for now. I think I actually want to put some sort of power exchange system based on the value of these two batteries here. So my main job at the moment is to go around and try and balance these atmosphere sensors so that we don't have the gases uh, flowing too much one way or the other. We want to be able to suck out enough hydrogen that it's uh, enough hydrogen that it's not pushing its way down towards these pumps and also enough oxygen that it's not put making its way up to this. But of course if we just let it run dry one could overpower the other. Uh, vacuums do all sorts of weird things to gases so we want to make sure that there is at least a little bit there and that's why we regulate it. So the oxygen's coming out at like minus 40. Might be a little bit too cold, but hey, that's that's fine. That's cool. It goes in at 2, 12. We've got a few different numbers here, so we'll see we'll see what actually comes out in the end. I've got a feeling it should be a little bit warmer. But it should be. I mean, it's going to warm up over time. I think the gas that was in there was cold and uh, we're now adding more heat from the system. Okay, the pipes have backed off and this has activated it appears to have turned everything off. That is good. That's what we wanted. Okay, it's all come to a standstill without gacking up properly. I'm constructing some uh, small filters, checks. Uh, I've noticed that in the flow, we've got little bits of hydrogen back here, which uh, it won't be a problem. I mean, it will cause some troubles, but it won't be a big issue. The big issue that we have right now, though, is the fact that these three are coming down here, but I wanted to ma match up with four separate inputs. Three to four is an awkward number. Okay, I've got a pretty sick looking uh, filter here. Is it a filter? A splitter? It, yeah, it's a splitter, like Factorio. Look, uh, it splits into two here to uh, send this one line out into two separate uh, lines, and then that splits out into four, giving us the four outputs we want. So they then go into these four outward lines this way. This, the middle one, then jumps over, comes down the middle, splits into two itself before also joining the four. Now, these these two should very much just split out evenly. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could compact it down uh, to work. Uh, no, 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 we're gonna have to go down and around. Uh, trying to try to jump over. I mean, we could, we could, we could jump over in different ways. Okay, I'm gonna come up with a different way of doing this. I've, uh, so I was gonna jump over with a bridge and jump over with another bridge, but there's no room. To, like you can't put the uh, the output on the same block as the input of this one. Uh, it would be a great shame. Uh, it would be a great help if you could, actually. It would be a great help if you could. It's a great shame that we can't. Okay, it gets a bit messy in the middle there, but the, uh, the, the theory is practically the same. We just get into the middle so that we can split up into the four, and that should then be these three lines into four separate pipes. It would be better if we did this above. <laughs> Because I've used these these bridges, there is a priority. This this one, no, the, the the end one here will take priority because it'll be the one traveling through 
uh, actual pipe when it comes to this at length, uh, this end output. But I'm always certain there is a way to do it with junctions. I can't quite see it late at night with my tired brain, but I'm sure, I'm sure there is one. Oh, this could be a problem. Hey, how about we disable that? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why the power... Well, let's, let's go have a look. Okay, it's not horrific. It could be worse. We're getting these normal lavas, though. That's that's pretty bad. Well, this is a side effect I didn't expect. They've all come up to this high-pressure vent. Uh, there, there's nothing to go to beyond it. That's why it just stopped. Thankfully, it's all pure oxygen down at the, uh, the front here, so there's nothing to filter. Hmm. Caught me a little off guard, though. Even though it feels like sacrilege, the time has come for us to start making our way through the tiles and break into the auction system here. We need to get rid of this all. For a little time now, I have snipped this out. We're just letting the last of the oxygen clear out of this area. As you can see, we've pulled a nice vacuum there. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but we need to get in there. And first off, we need to disconnect all the power from here. I'm going to let all the hydrogen decan out and we'll... Uh, uh, and we'll pump all the uh, power from these smart batteries through this power transformer. Well, maybe this needs a little bit more work. We've got a, uh, a steady stream of oxygen coming out of there, a partial stream here, partial stream there, and then this one at the bottom only seems to get a little bit. This will definitely need rebalancing, but it looks like we have got quite the functioning oxygen system here. Everything is just kind of trickling in and refilling right now. I want to go and have a look and see what the actual Rodriguez is looking like right now. Is it being able to, like, just power its way uh, through into the future? It looks like it's doing amazingly well. If we have a look at the gas overlay, yeah, indeed, that is doing perfect. It was a great shame that I'm so cursed when it comes to the cool steam vents or just just water vents in general. But it was a, a something an adversary. But it was merely a complication. We went ahead and pulled up the water from the other water guys and got ourselves a good a steady flow coming down here and got ourselves a steady flow of like three kilograms per second of of oxygen coming out of here. I do believe. My plan for next time, as well as sweeping up all the stuff that's on the floor, because, oh, it's all getting a bit sluggish now, is to maybe finish this off and try and get this insulated pipe splitting in two, coming down this way and feeding in to my oil wells, because that is the major hold up here. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.